Hi everybody! In this first lesson, we will discover the world of the microcontrollers and how this technology is affecting our daily life in all the activities that we are performing. Let us start this lesson by defining the word microcontroller. As you notice, the word is a combination of two words. One, micro, which means small. Two, controller, which means it controls something. Later in the lesson, we will learn what kind of objects a microcontroller can manage. In order to understand the use of a microcontroller, we will start by asking a few questions. What are the peripherals or the components that we can connect to a computer? Can I connect a mouse to a computer? Of course, yes. Can I connect a keyboard to a computer? Of course, yes. Can I connect a printer, a scanner, a microphone, a camera, or a speaker to a computer? The answer is, of course, yes. Now let us move to another set of questions. Can I connect an air conditioner to a computer? Of course, no. Can I connect a washing machine to a computer? Of course, no. Can I connect a lift to a computer? Of course, no. Can I connect a lamp to a computer? Of course, no. Can I connect a gas sensor, a temperature sensor, or even a humidity sensor to a computer? Of course, no. From what we saw, we can conclude that in order to use a computer to control any electronic component that we are using every day, like a sensor, a motor, or any other device, we should use an electronic board that establish the link between the computer and the device. This board is called a microcontroller. Microcontrollers are divided into two categories. One, industrial microcontrollers. Two, educational microcontrollers. Industrial microcontrollers are made to control industrial robots to produce cars or any heavy machine. We can find industrial microcontrollers in lifts, washing machines, air conditions, etc. Educational microcontrollers are made to show the students how real microcontrollers work and to make them understand more of the world of IoT, Internet of Things. Many companies have developed educational microcontrollers. The most well-known are Arduino, Raspberry Pi, and Microbit. At the end of this lesson, I will ask you to watch the following circuit that shows how we can detect a distance using an ultrasonic sensor. When you have free time, go on YouTube, search, and watch a video for Introduction to Microcontrollers. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and do not forget to follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram in order to access two additional educational resources.